Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And welcome to the third Sunday of Advent. This is a Sunday in Advent that has its own special name. Today is called Gaudete Sunday. And Gaudete is a Latin word that means all of you rejoice. Today we rejoice because the Lord is near. Today is a day of celebration in the church because this time of Advent, this time of waiting, we now know is coming to a close. It's more than halfway complete and Christmas will be here soon. And for those of you who are paying close attention, you notice that today's a day that we lit a candle of a different color and that my stole is a different color. Today, instead of the violet or purple of Advent, we have the rose or the pink of Gaudete Sunday, because today we rejoice. It's sort of like the bright, glorious white of Christmas is shining through that violet, and what we're left with is a lighter rose color, just a sign of our rejoicing. And today, as we gather to pray and listen to the readings, we'll hear about rejoicing, and we ask the Lord that we will be ready to receive him with great joy. Let us pray. O God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord, in my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice. Like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes its growth spring, for, spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. My soul rejoices in my God. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. My soul rejoices in my God. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. My soul rejoices in my God. Alleluia, alleluia. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you so we can give an answer to those who sent us? What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert, Make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, 
Why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, hey there, buckaroos. I thought for the homily today, we would come over to the main church so you could see the Advent wreath here, which you may be missing while you're at home, and just so you could see your parish again, because maybe it's been a while since you've been in the building. Now, today is the third Sunday of Advent. You can see that our rose-colored candle is lit for this week. This is a week in which we rejoice, and this is a week in our readings that we hear from some prophets. Now, a prophet, a prophet is someone who proclaims the Word of God, and who speaks about God to others, uh, and sometimes tells people what God desires to do, what God's plans are. And sometimes when a prophet speaks, the prophet will speak about the blessings that are going to come to God's people. Sometimes when the prophets speak, they speak warning to God's people. That maybe the people need to change some of their behaviors or ways of thinking. And so we see prophets throughout the Bible. And today in our first read, we heard from the prophet Isaiah. And then in the Gospel, we heard about a prophet named John the Baptist. And Isaiah, he lived a long time before Jesus, and many of the words that he spoke were about Jesus, about Jesus who was to come. John the Baptist, he lived very close to the time of Jesus, and in fact, they lived at the same time. And he would tell people that Jesus was coming. And today, and last week during this Advent season, we hear that John the Baptist wants us to Prepare our hearts to receive Jesus. But Isaiah and John the Baptist, they are prophets because they proclaim the Word of God. They speak about God to others and about God's plans and God's desires and God's expectations. Now, here's something that I think is very interesting, and it's something that a lot of us Christians, a lot of us Catholics, we might not think about as much as we should, but it's something very important, and it's this. We are called to be prophets, and in fact, when we were baptized, we were baptized to become prophets. When we were baptized, we were made, along with Jesus, priests and prophets and kings, and so we are prophets. And that means that it's not just me who should be proclaiming God's Word and talking about God to others, but it's you also. That you are called to be a prophet, to talk about Jesus with others, and to proclaim the good news of Jesus to others, and to speak about God's plan with others, His plan that we would love one another and be good to one another and to call people on to excellence and holiness of life, to remind people that we are made to enjoy God's life with Him forever in heaven. This is good news. This is the news that people need to hear. And so on this third Sunday of Advent, as we rejoice, we also recognize with great joy that we are prophets, and we can ask God for the grace we need to proclaim His Word, whether in season or out, whether it's popular or not, we pray today that we can be good prophets of the Lord. Well, thank you for being with us today, for celebrating with us this third Sunday of Advent, Gaudete Sunday. Remember to rejoice today because the Lord is near. Let us pray. May your grace, almighty God, always go before us and follow after. 
so that we who await with heartfelt desire the coming of your only begotten Son may receive your help both now and in the life to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Christ is the Word.